Good Food Cooking Show. Where we make real food taste real good. Tonight? I'm wearing my Spanish dress! Yay! It's all the way from Mallorca. I'm wearing my wedding pants. Oh! <laughs> We're off subject again, quickly. <laughs> so what are we, we going making? to make a piece of salmon. Yes. A piece of salmon with a, a little warm salad using potato, some lovely green beans from our garden. Yay, they came from our garden. Some little soft boiled eggs, olives and some lettuce from our garden. Oh, is there a hiding strawberry? No, we've already eaten him. Oh, no strawberry. more strawberries. We only get one a week. A week? <laughs> I hope we get more than that. <laughs> Okay, so how do we get started? What do uh, we need, we need to, to pop our potatoes on. Pop our potatoes on. So we've got a pot. Pot. There you, go. you can pop some water in there. I'm going to cut them in half so they cook a bit quicker. Otherwise, it'll take rather a long time. These are nice little. They call these in New Zealand. They call these Jersey Bennies. Ah. Uh -huh. And they're little waxy potatoes, which are good for boiling for salad because they hold together. And they'll be very um. Wow, so much water. <laughs> Less of us, we're waiting for a week to become boil. <laughs> no, I'm ready, I'm not kidding you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Or are you? laughs> Just enough to cover them? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I'll cook even faster when you put them on the oven, it's too long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. So then we've got, we've got some green beans to the eggs, we've got to cook those as well. But we've also got this lovely piece of salmon but that Melissa bought. But it's got bones in it. Oh no. Now that's, that's okay because you know, if it's a fish, it's supposed to have bones. But <laughs> a bit like people. You know, if we want to pull them out. We gotta pull them out. I guess to show us how do you pull out boat Ooh, what are those? Well tweezers? I've gone into I've gone into your side of the uh, bathroom cabinet and uh -oh. I found your tweezers that you used to pluck your eyebrows with. Uh oh and I found a good use for them. My only I piece don't know if I like you using my tweezers. <laughs> well, I don't have tweezers because I don't pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> so here's how we remove the seven bones. You can see the little bone there. We just grab it. You've got to put it in the direction that it was in. Look at that. It came right out. So to the side. Well, you can see the grain kind of. You can see the grain lines there. And they, they go down that way on a funny angle. So what we do is grab it. Right, so our potatoes are cooking. Cooking our away! Salmon is ready to go. Um, I have another little pot on the stove which I am going to boil the eggs. The eggs. Yes. They're our lovely local free range organic eggs. And this salmon has got like a funny little hole in it. Oh, shame. But it's okay. He's okay. Yeah, this one here, you know, it's actually quite a good idea. If you're going to boil an egg, you just get a knife and just go doot, 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 and make. What does that do? It makes a teeny tiny little hole like that. Can you see the little hole in the bottom? Uh, no, I no. don't think they can. <laughs> but that just allows, when it goes into the hot, they're going to put it into boiling water. Yeah. It allows a little bit of air to escape and it stops the egg from cracking. Oh. Because we want to cook these eggs for 5 minutes 30. 5 minutes 30 exactly? Maybe 5 minutes 35. What about 29? No, that's under Because <laughs> <under, under> <laughs> that will give us <laughs> about, about 6 minutes. About six minutes. About six minutes will give us so a lovely soft. So we want something soft. quite firm, but not <laughs> <laughs> soft. Oh, we don't want oh, it boy. really soft, because then it'll just go no, in. No, we, we want the white to be cooked and the yolk to be not cooked all the way through. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I'm, I'm lazy, I'm going to cook the eggs and the beans in the same pot, because, you know, it's less pots to clean. Less pots to clean. So I'll get the salad ready. You go, we've got some lovely lettuce that was picked look out of the this, garden. Look at this. This came from our garden. How lovely about, is about that? About an hour ago. So an hour ago. It's so nice and fresh. And lovely, some lovely, I think, I think these are runner beans. They're called runner beans. From our garden. We're going to just cook them a little bit. We just want to, whoopsie, cut them up. And get rid of the stalks. Cut ourselves in the process. <laughs> we almost did then. We've probably got more than we actually need here, but we've got rather a lot of beans at the moment. It's a pity you can't see out the window because the bean plant is like Woo! Yeah, it's got a bit of bit of weight in it and it's actually starting to lean over. <laughs> so um, I think the uh, frame I made for it is potentially not possibly not quite strong, not strong enough. enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, we've got. Some... I'm going to make a dressing. You're going to make a dressing, and I'm going to cut the tomatoes in half. Okay, so dressing. That's our favourite three ingredients. Three ingredients. So our very nice uh, whole grain mustard. The oops, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut my finger off. It's dangerous here. <laughs> so... Um, some lovely. Apple cider, apple cider vinegar. So we have one on one, one tablespoon of that. Woo! Uh oh. Something's boiled over. Yeah, that's my water boiled over. Who the fuck? Okay, that means my eggs are ready to go in. <laughs> Man. It made a mess, didn't it? I can't believe it made a mess since it's water. Oh, that's just Now, I, I also forgot to mention I probably should have put a little bit of splash of vinegar in there because it will help the eggs. Oh. The splash of vinegar yeah. helps the eggs do what? It kind of holds the white in. You can give it a crack though. <laughs> <laughs> so my salad dressing is now ready. So one tablespoon of the olive oil, one of the apple cider, and around about a teaspoon. No? A teaspoon? Wow, <laughs> Half so a teaspoon of the nice whole grain mustard. It's nice and really blunt, it's so annoying. And then we're going to have some nice tomatoes. A few little tomatoes. Yeah. They're also from the garden, aren't they? They are. Yeah. They've got lots Very of stuff nice. in the Oh, we're going to have some parsley as well. Oh, of course we've got I had to laugh because our parsley, it actually looks a bit... It's gone a bit pew! I picked that the same way I picked the lettuce. It shouldn't have gone pew. But it is all going to seed. And so, so But I picked up bits pick that aren't going to the seed. They're going to pick up the nice bits from the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Because parsley, very high in vitamin C. Very good for the bladder. So, you know, if you egg, have. Egg is not good, kitty. Uh, huh? It's blown up. We've had an egg, we've had a blowout. Uh oh. So, if you have any um, interstitial cystitis. If you have any what? <laughs> that sounds awfully painful. It is painful. It's, <laughs> it's when the bladder becomes inflamed. Ow. It's quite sore. So, if you have that, you should have lots of parsley because parsley will help to just reduce that inflammation. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to start assembling our salad. So we've got a bit of lettuce and we're going to pop on some bits of tomato. We'll put more on later. And some parsley in the garden. Pew! As well. and we've got some lovely olives, some nice little green Spanish olives. And we always like to make our salads on a big platter like this because, you know, it's just so much prettier and when things look pretty they taste better they taste better okay. and that's all good for your digestion so i we boiled a couple of eggs and then <laughs> both of them are pretty ugly <laughs> that they, one there was a little bit they could have done with a little bit longer so very soft and that one there kind of had a hole in it but that'll be, that'll be fine <laughs> that'll be taste, that'll taste good so um we're not going to cut those and we're ready to go yes we'll let them sit for a bit i'm going to stab my spuds and see how they're going take not that long maybe um, less than less than 10 minutes five, seven or eight minutes only because you don't want to overcook salmon you don't want to overcook any fish but especially salmon it can be really quite pink in the middle if you overcook it it becomes quite dry okay so to make things easier we're just going to pop our green beans straight into the same pot 
that the potatoes are in. It saves up on washing up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. It's got three little lines on it.